In 2015, Kenya received $10 million from the Adaptation Fund, money that is intended to finance climate smart projects in the country and help the economy to become climate resilient. Now, out of this money, the National Environment Management Authority decided that the best way to use it would be to spend most of it into agriculture ad uh, adaptation because the agriculture industry is the one that is said to take the biggest hit when it comes to climate change. Food Friday this week is in Walda in Moyale, whereby some of that money has been used to grow this beautiful crop that you see here. The border town of Moyale in Marsabit County lies a little over 700 kilometers from Nairobi in the arid north of the country. It is among the regions that have been badly hit by the drought, with the Kenya Red Cross reporting that the county of Marsabit alone has lost at least 40% of its livestock. Oh, in this area, first and foremost, uh, what climate change has done is to disrupt access to food, access to water. Walda is 100 kilometers from Moyale town and the food security project here is a three-year climate resilience program run by the Kenya Red Cross Society with funding from the Climate Adaptation Fund. Out of the $10 million that Kenya received from the fund, 57.6 million shillings has gone into this Walda project. The $10 million US dollar that Kenya got uh, through NEMA's accreditation, is funding a national program in 14 counties. This is just one of the 11 projects that is happening. So it's about 64 acres that is under production, and we have various uh, varieties of crops. There are those that were direct planting, like the uh, watermelon, butternut. The project was originally a Kenyans for Kenya initiative, but it collapsed one year into operation. The Red Cross says that the failure was as a result of the poor management of the farm, along with the community's disinterest in farming. This is the first harvest of this new second round, and we hope and pray that uh, it's a three-year project, so we will have enough time to educate this community and for them to really become farmers in addition to the pastoralism that they have, pastoralism that they have been doing. <laughs> There's been a lot of criticism in the past about the kind of climate resilience interventions that are being made in the drylands, and one school of thought says that irrigated agriculture is not the solution to climate proofing pastoral systems. Proponents of this thought insist that it is impossible to impose farming on a community that doesn't traditionally farm and suggest that perhaps the country needs to look at interventions targeted at livestock, since that is what the pastoral communities know. No, I would say I don't agree with that myself because both can coexist. As we see on this farm, we've decided out of the 64 acres, at least 12 acres was to put... Uh, to put uh, grass and we have Sudan grass that we are growing. Marsabet, tunalima, na tunapata mavuno mengi na na nashukuru hapa hata tunaendelea hata watu wengi wanachukua mfano wangu. Kenya says it needs a total of 500 billion shillings between now and the year 2026 for adaptation and mitigation action in the agriculture sector and countrywide irrigated agriculture for both food and fodder is a key intervention part of the adaptation strategy. Zainab Wandati NTV for Food Friday in the county of Marsabit.